And on the sixth day, the Aedra created the kit. Today, we install and set up the SE Creation Kit. Let's do it. Bethesda.net. Scroll to the bottom. Download the Bethesda Launcher. Launch it. Agree to move forward through the setup. Install and launch it. Log into your account or make one. From the Game and App menu, double arrows. Creation Kit. Install. Play. Agree to all for all pop-ups, including the script source extraction. This will take a few minutes. When complete, the CK is installed. The first thing that I do is resize the CK windows. They are all used at different points during mod creation. When you close the CK, as we are doing now, their position should be saved. By default, the CK only allows mods to have a single master. Trying to select more than one initially creates an error. To fix this, navigate to the CK's installation folder, which is the game folder. Open the creation kit any. Within the general section, from the description, copy this line, B allow multiple master loads equals one, and paste it. Close and save the any. If you are using MO2, install the CK to it as you would other apps. Run it from there. Vortex users can install it to their dashboard or launch it from outside of the manager. Either way is fine. Thanks for watching.